Beloved in Christ, welcome to the Healing Streams Reflections. The title of today's post is The Evil of Jealousy. Are you experiencing a painful restriction on your lifestyle right now? Is it a broken relationship? A betrayal of trust? A budget squeeze? Some debilitating illness? Jail time? Or some other discipline from the Lord? Can you see the plan God may have for you? Turning evil into good as he did for Joseph. Are you ready to face your struggle courageously and patiently, knowing that God may be using it to prepare you to fly? And that even the sky may be your limit. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 37, verse 8 and 11, it reads, And his brothers said to him, Shall you indeed have dominion over us? So they hated him even more for his dreams and for his words. Continue from verse 11. Genesis chapter 37 and his brothers envied him but his father kept the matter in mind Joseph naive boastful and insensitive told his brothers of a dream in Genesis chapter 37 verses 1 to 11 and even to his parents that portrayed his superiority. His fierce brothers plotted to murder him and hide the act from their father. But two brothers, Reuben and Judah, rescued Joseph. Instead of killing Joseph, his brothers sold him as a slave. Beloved in the Lord, how will you describe Joseph from Genesis chapter 37 verse 1 to 11 passage? Is there anything about Joseph's life you would like to emulate? Knowing that the Bible in Genesis chapter 37 Verse 5, beginning from 2a, verse 5 and 9, make such wonderful statement about Joseph. Verse 2, he says, this is the history of Jacob, Joseph. Being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brothers. Then verse 5. Now Joseph dreamed a dream, and he told it to the brothers, and they hated him even more. Then verse 9. Then he dreamed still another dream, and told it to the brothers, and said, Look, I have dreamed another dream. In this time, the sun, the moon, and even stars bow down to me. Many young people prefer to be on their phones day in and day out, playing games, surfing the net, watching movies. The list is endless. Rather than helping their parents, doing house jobs, or reading their books this should not be said of you my brother my sister 
young adult youth trying to pursue the American dream, this should not be said of you. Distinguish yourself by taking responsibility and developing a vision for yourself. If you were one of Joseph's brothers, how would you have reacted to his dream? Unfortunately, as is common with many parents, Jacob preferred one child, Joseph, over the others. Jacob displayed this for his own reason, that Joseph, as the scripture says, was the son of his old age also. He made him a tonic of many colors, as Genesis chapter 37 verse 3 informs us. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they reacted to this development and they, as the scripture says in verse 4 of Genesis chapter 37, they hated him and could not speak peaceably to him. Is this parental preference? And is such a response from Joseph's brothers predictable or not? Two wrongs doesn't make a right. How can parents avoid this in their homes? The New Living Transition version of the Bible put it this way in Genesis chapter 37 verse 4. But his brothers hated Joseph because of their partiality, they couldn't say a kind word to him. Really, the partiality of the parents. Another possible reason for their hatred, as verse 2 tells us, but Jacob, but Joseph reported to his father Jacob some of the bad things his brothers were doing. This favoritism created and creates hatred and jealousy from his brothers as read from verse 4 and joseph also seems to be a tale bearer as verse 2 the second part tells us of genesis chapter 37 it reads it reads it says that and the Lord was with the sons of Bilhah and the sons of Zilpha, his brother's wife. And Joseph brought a bad report of them to the father. In a sense, he is a tale bearer. Again, parents should not show favoritism among their children as if, as it often occasions anger and quarrels in families. Believers are strictly commanded not to show favoritism as James chapter 2, 19 informs us. Just as God too does not show partiality as Luke tells us in Acts chapter 10, verse 34 to 35. Other things that arouse hatred and envy in Joseph's brothers against him is that Joseph was tactless in the way he tells his dreams. This made the situation worse because verse 5 tells us, the verse 5 of Genesis chapter 37 tells us, tells us that now Joseph dreamed a dream and he told it to the brothers and they hated him even more. And then verse 8, it is also went on to say, and his brothers said to him, shall you indeed reign over us? Or shall you indeed have dominion over us? So they hated him even more for his dreams and for his words. Then verse 10 to 11. So he told it to his father and his brothers. And his father rebuked him and said to him, What is this dream that you have dreamed? Shall your mother and I and your brothers indeed come to bow down? To the earth before you verse 11 of genesis chapter 37 it continues and his brothers envied him but his father kept the matter in mind 
hatred and envy breed mischief and lead to dangerous and disastrous activities. Joseph shared his dreams freely. Joseph's dreams began first. When, when, uh, Joseph's dream began first. When 11 sheep were bowing down to him, as verses 5 to 7 tells us, and then the sun, moon, and 11 stars, verse 9, also informs us. As compared to that of his sons, in verse 10 to 11, Jacob's, the father, response was that of rebuke. And verse 11 says, But while his brothers were jealous of Joseph, his father gave it some thought and wondered what it all meant. This is the difference between young adult, youth, and elders. While elders are giving tough talks, youth, young, other, young adults are doing it the other way. Considering Joseph's age, was it childish, innocence, or pride that made him unable to manage his dreams? It's a question worthy of consideration. While we should condemn envy or hatred of anyone because of God's special grace upon the person, him or her, we need wisdom in sharing our God-given vision. And that is exactly what Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 informs us which I think most often we normally put a blind eye on some of these warnings from scripture. So Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 it says wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and in all you're getting get understanding. Then Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 16 it says that then I said wisdom is better than strength nevertheless the poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not heard with whom do you share your vision or how do you react to people when they share their dreams with you it is necessary to know how to handle revelations and ideas that God brings our way or else we could earn unnecessary jealousy or even hatred from even people close, so close to us. How we need to beware of vision killers Note, however, that in verse 11, Jacob kept the matter in mind. We do not need to be jealous of people like Joseph. We should rather develop a vision for ourselves. Whatever it, it is that God is showing you or me about the future, believe it and trust him to help you. And, and help me to, to actualize it. Your dream, in a sense, your vision, distinguishes you from others. Nobody can talk or stop God's plan for you. You must, however, be careful the way and with whom you share it. Oh Lord, help us to heed godly instructions promptly and protect us from our haters and Lord from our haters as well Lord please give us the grace to believe what you are showing us about our future almighty God you are good God help us trust you to actualize it in Jesus name for every human 
your first set of two dreams in youthful stage or childhood stage is very very important set first set of dreams of exaltation is a revealed god's plan for your life everybody that is what scripture says but will be challenged by your household enemies be it your father's household enemies or your mother's household enemies especially when the day born is always witnessed by your household attendants more especially when you have all these ancestors to spirits and familiar spirits in your blood system it is likely to challenge every first fruit that comes into your life for instance the first child of joseph manasseh and the first child of jacob reuben lost it they lost their birthright and it blessings however when you combine the pain with the confidence and knowledge of god in every challenge of the step because god is with you you will be an overcomer like joseph note as a dreamer in the kingdom of god you will be challenged it should be clear to you and some as somebody said life is war nobody else can be like you whatever is inside you will change everyone around you remember jeremiah chapter 1 says god planned you you are unlike anyone else on earth the life of joseph excites on common christian achievers why because joseph's dream brought rewards to his family that is what genesis chapter 37 verse 5 to 11 informs us despite joseph's brothers hated the attention his father showed him they despised his distinction they despised his importance they despised his significance as well as difference he brings to the family joseph said here i pray you this dream which i have dreamed and then he explained the dream to them nothing is more shocking than to trust those who do not trust you why did joseph tell his brothers why why because when god put something in your heart you want to share it when god put a dream inside you a goal a picture of something that you can do or have you want to involve others what is your life dream now my brother my sister friends is a, a question worthy of meditation be reminded that your dream is different from your assignment your assignment is the problem you solve your dream is the reward you receive for doing your assignment in a sense your god given assignment through the empowerment of the holy ghost god did not give joseph a picture of his resp- responsibilities he gave him a picture of his rewards Even Jesus the writer of Hebrews says we look unto Jesus why because he is the author and finisher of our faith who for the joy are you realizing it who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross i believe if it wasn't the reward which is the joy that was set before him to endure the cross and even despising shame I don't think Jesus Christ would do it. God respect the reward and he gives reward. And we serve God for profit and for reward. The New Living Translation version says, we keep our eyes on Jesus, on whom our faith depends from start to the finish. He was willing to die a shameful death on the cross because of the joy he knew will be his afterward is that all the reward no now look at the greatest reward which the writer of hebrews tells us he says in hebrews chapter 12 he says he says 
Jesus has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God that is seated in the place of highest honor beside God's throne in heaven. Brothers and sisters, beloved, renew your mind and paint your mind with the uncommon dream. Your dream decides who enjoys you, but your family, your church, and your nation will reap the rewards of your exceptional and peculiar dream. Thanks for listening, and God richly bless you. Bye for now.